Ross, welcome to Forest Green. Not a very nice day outside, but how does it feel to be here? Yeah, so obviously thanks for uh, having me and happy to be here and uh, get it done, really. And how has this all come about, arriving from Tranmere Rovers? Uh, it's obviously came about quite quickly. Uh, I was at Tranmere for the first half of the season, then I got the phone call, and then after that, uh, the deal went through pretty quickly, smoothly. So how were you uh, approached, I guess? What was the, the main selling points of coming to Forest Green? Just uh, always had a meeting with the, uh, the guy for the... Uh, and a goalie coach and then uh, just about the ambition of the club and uh, how they wanted me and that just uh, just looked on and it looked very impressive so that helped me and it made my decision easier uh, to come here for the uh, take the step up and uh, the ambition of the club obviously. Yeah an impressive pitch then good conversations with, with all parties the, the gaffer Dan Connor as well. Yeah uh, it was very impressed me and my dad were both very impressed with the meeting we had uh, so we'll just just to go now. And what have you made of the the season you've you've had so far at Tramia? Lots of clean sheets in your twenty five appearances so far. Yeah, I've had quite a few clean sheets. There's been up and down results, but uh, it happens in these uh, these leagues that I've found out since I've came down here that cut the wins in the bounce and you can fly up the table. So hopefully I can just try and continue the form and continue the clean sheets uh, here at Forest Green. And just talk to us a little bit about your your career path so far because you spent your your youth days at Celtic, plenty of loan spells before getting that permanent move to Tramia this summer? Yeah, obviously uh, I came through the ranks at Celtic, then went a few few loan moves out to a couple of teams up in Scotland, like Ayr and uh, Ross County and Dundee United to, to get some games under my belt that way. Then I got brought down on loan to Tramia last year and that got made permanent in the summer and now I'm here. Um, well, we of course remember coming up against you last season for a lot of the season. It was a real looked like it was going to be a real title battle, didn't it, between Forest Green and Tramia? And you must remember the the game at Prenton Park. And yeah. what did you make of Forest Green that day? Yeah, I thought I uh, was very impressed. I mean, even the the game we played up uh, uh, up here, I thought it was it was a very tough game. It was probably the hottest day I played in. It was a very hot day that game. And then when Forest Green came at Prenton Park, it was it was tight in the table, but the uh, the way they performed that day, they deserved to win the game. And how would you describe your, yourself as a goalkeeper, Ross? I'd just say I'm quite uh, quite calm. Uh, I like trying to make saves and uh, just help the team as much as I can. And how do you view the the competition coming in and the sort of the, the fight for the shirt? Obviously, uh, competition brings out the best in everyone. So I'm looking forward to coming in and working with the keepers and uh, all pushing each other uh, for that starting place. And uh, anybody you're particularly familiar with whilst you're, you're coming into the club? Well, I was in the same youth team as Regan, so I've known Regan for years as well, and then a couple of other boys from Glasgow. Uh, I know Kyle McAllister as well from uh, growing up, playing against him growing up, and uh, when my shot spell at Dundee United, I was in the same team as Jamie Robinson, who, who just came here a couple of days ago as well, so I'm quite familiar with a few other boys, which is, which is always good when you come to a new club. I mean, we joke about the Scottish contingent probably being bigger than other clubs, but that must be a real big help having all those those faces coming in that you're familiar with. Yeah, it obviously helps when you're, you're coming in a new club. It's always easier if you know, I know a few familiar faces that help you bed into the club and then make, it, uh, make you feel uh, very welcome. So it's always good that way. Well, I think you're heading down to, to training in a bit. I suppose it'll just be nice to meet those that you haven't met yet and then you know really get going with the hard work in the next few days. Yeah, exactly. I'm just... Uh, Looking forward to going down, meeting the rest of the boys and the staff and uh, just get going as quickly as possible.